So a newbie desperately looking for help after downloading 3D code for the first time sent me this on Kura after I saw his post and sent him an answer. Listen to what he said. 3D code is one great software I really want to use, but it has one of the most disgusting communities comparing it to other 3D application forums. You are blocked for any post you make, criticizing or talking about the errors in the program. You also never receive a response or suggestion concerning any question you post in your English forum. In fact, if you run into any problem in this program, you are left on your own. There are no tutorials, textbooks or video courses like ZBrush and Blender does. I decided to check his comment section and unfortunately, ZBrush users were doing their thing just like they do on every platform. Check out some of the things they were writing. Now, these are trues, right? So listen to what user one is saying. Blender, Madbox, 3D code, kindly hold my beer whilst I brush my Z teeth. User two, 3D code lags more than the number of times my wife twerked for me ever since we got married. User three, dude, just put on a Z code. Now, the interesting part about this is I decided to go through their profiles one after the other and each of them is 50 years and above. Serious truths. Look, if you think Reddit or Twitter has a lot of truths, then you haven't tried Quora yet. 3D Quote has begun to gain a lot of attention in most of ZBrush forums, the Foundry, Modo, and even Substance Painter forums. It's crazy, so I thought it would be a good idea to place 3D Quote and ZBrush side by side. Without wasting any more time, let's Now, before I begin with the side-by-side -side comparison, let me list out the special features separating these two softwares apart. The number one special feature for 3D code will be UV mapping. I personally think 3D code has built its UV2 to be the best, if not one of the best on the market right now. Its UV mapping supports planner unwrapping algorithm and ABF. How cool could that be? All the people I know who tried 3D Quote UV mapping never looked back. It's very professional, I can promise you that. Number two will be it with topology tool, and number three will be texturing and physical based rendering. These are the most important yeah, features in 3D Quote right now, separating it from ZBrush. When it comes to ZBrush, I have the number one to be its 3D brushes. The default installation of ZBrush comes with 30 brushes for sculpting. There are a lot you can download for free as well on their website. Each brush comes with a unique feature that provides its users to draw pattern of different shapes and sizes with editable brush. Number two will be its DynaMesh and FiberMesh. These are tools that allows you to make uniform polygon to further grow the polygon's fiber. This is one great way to manipulate a large number of polygons professionally. Number three, will be Z-Sphere and Polypaint, with number 4 being the latest to Sculptress Pro. There is more, but not too unique as these I just mentioned. Now let's begin with the comparisons. The 3D code is specialized in something called Voxel Object and Polygonal Sculpture. I get a lot of ZBrush users who have just concluded no matter how good a software becomes. It's a till death do them apart affair with ZBrush. Well, we want quality work and quantity time. And if Voxel Sculpture is the future, then so be it for me. Voxel Sculpting is an analog of two dimension pixels for three dimension space. There are no polygons involved in this mode of sculpting. You can export a model from ZBrush and compare the standard brushes. The brushes in the 3D code preset are tuned to behave just like ZBrush standard brushes. With that said, there really doesn't seem to be much of a noticeable difference in speed and feel. One good side of voxel sculpting is there are no polygons involved in voxel sculpting. Shapes and objects can be created without any adjustment. Another good thing is voxel model cannot have different densities on a single object. Vox hall sculpting greatly simplifies the creation of 3D concepts and reference. One problem here is that Voxel modeling requires uniform rest for the mesh. 
Now, let's talk about the sculpting technique used in ZBrush. ZBrush is an excellent digital sculpting program known for its photorealistic and production quality sculpt with production quality shading, lighting, and rendering outputs. It's a software you would find in every 3D production house worldwide. One of my teachers once said, any 3D company that doesn't use ZBrush just can't deal with hot women. He was comparing the realistic looks of characters and models from ZBrush to hot women. Unfortunately, he's dead now. The sad part is too many of hot women killed him. Kaboom, may your soul rest in peace. Such a shitty death, he died. ZBrush, unlike 3D Coach, uses a sculpting technique which adds depth, orientation, and materials, making a smart pixel called Pixel. The Pixel contains information about the position on the 2D plane and color. You also get the dynamism of Gizmo 3D. Cool, right? Gizmo 3D provides better ways to analyze the options such as move, rotate, and scale for modeling shapes. You also get a brush by name Z Modeler Brush, which gives you the free will for polygonal modeling that includes low res modeling. Z Brush is really impressive and has tons of stellar features, but so does 3D Code. Both have key features the other doesn't have. Let me use certain special features in 3D Code as a typical example. One will be 3D connection device support for 3D Code, and then two is that in 3D Code you can now sculpt and paint simultaneously on a high dense poly mesh using all four channels which are the color, depth, gloss and metal with sculpt layer functionality. So there is a good reason one might choose either app but one way or the other you will be giving up something in the process. Most people think 3D code can't handle as many polygons as ZBrush does. That's not true because your machine specs play the major role here. ZBrush can handle millions of high resolution polygons without stress, but it has its limits based on a person's hardware. A 3D code user with a powerful CPU paired with at least 32 or 64 or maybe above gigabytes of RAM can effortlessly also handle more than 30 million polygons. One thing to note is that Voxel consumes more RAM than geometry. That's why there is a geometry only mode and voxel only mode in 3D code. 3D code users can also lower RAM consumption dramatically by caching layers they are not actively working on. In conclusion, the average computer can handle millions of polygons better in ZBrush than the voxels in 3D code since you have to spend some more in order to get a stable machine to run 3D code when dealing with millions of voxels. 3D code gives you the option to export a complete voxel hierarchy out and then open it in ZBrush for modification. Also, it's absolutely possible to import a project from another software into 3D code for modification, but you will need a plugin called Applique. Sounds French to me. On the other hand, ZBrush does not allow its users to modify their models outside the software like 3D code allows you to. Over 40 million polygons sounds like a lot and one might think that's the reason why ZBrush crashes a lot. No, that's not why. Well, this is what ZBrush had to say about their software crashing. The antivirus application is either outright preventing our software from writing modifying files that it needs to function. I really don't think so. I have a particular machine I test software on before I write about them. I have removed the Windows default antivirus on that machine, but ZBrush still twerks on me all the time, so I can't really tell what these developers are talking about. But one great thing here is ZBrush has now been purchased by Magazine, so let's hope for great stability in ZBrush in times ahead. ZBrush can handle millions of polygons very easily without any lag if your machine specs are up for that specific number of polygons. So if you're having troubles working on a certain number of polygons, then you should kindly check your machine specs. 3D code on the other hand doesn't crash. Well, from what I've experienced so far, 
after installing 3d code you get to launch the software in many options depending on the build of your machine you get a gl option dx option simple option and a cuda option now the dx option is for gaming cards which uses direct x whereas the gl is generally for pro level cards like quadro and anti pro cards the cuda is strictly for nvidia graphics cards that supports cuda now if none of the above seems to work for you then kindly go in for simple option the dx option works well in my opinion so if you're having display glitches using the jl option kindly open the software using the dx option the graphics card you are working on really matters so kindly look out for that i had an old man walk up to me some time ago in a 3d studio and asked me if i can find him a female with a phd in creative art who can work on a small zbrush project for him i said no so he left he was so bent on finding someone with a phd and that's how tough zbrush is zbrush isn't one of those softwares you can just download and start using right away it's tough to sail through just like houdini you know it's like having to deal with a highly intelligent rich person who keeps giving out gas without shame in the midst of people you need the help he doesn't so you got to stay and endure the sting he comes with upon how expensive zbrush is with its system crashing and also very tough to sail through you've got to deal with it because it's much friendly in most 3d houses and also you need the quality zbrush comes with 3D code on the other hand can be used without watching a single tutorial. Well, to a certain extent, its price is cheap, very stable and can be used on bigger projects as well. There is a good reason for anybody to go in for either 3D code or ZBrush, but one way or the other, you would be giving up something in the process. But I can assure you it wouldn't be a big deal if you are very familiar and comfortable with either of them. If you are a 3d code user you wouldn't be losing out on anything in my opinion other than the millions of polygons zbrush is able to handle comfortably also most 3d houses worldwide would hire more zbrush users than 3d code users but if you are a newbie who is contemplating between zbrush and 3d code or if you are a freelancer already into sculpting then choosing 3d code will be an awesome decision and also a great deduction for your pocket 3d code is about 300 usd whilst zbrush costs over 800 usd if you love this video kindly don't forget to subscribe and like see you in my next video peace out